All right, Ryan Bass, our favorite part of the show, and it's not eating barbecue. Uh. Simeon season. <laughs> Number of topics, inbounds, out of bounds. We're talking about it all. Oh, there's no boundaries here. Sim, running back, Le'Veon Bell, joining the Bucks this week. Obviously, last week Bell tweeted at Jake Paul, challenging him to a fight. I don't think that's a good idea. We're on that in a moment, though. <laughs> the injury to Fournette is what we are going to talk about. The depth in the backfield. What does Le'Veon Bell bring to the table, Simeon? Well, he can catch the ball out the backfield. He, obviously, he's been a pro bowler. He's been there before. He's seasoned. And he has, he's been off all season, so his legs should be pretty fresh. And he's, he brings a bit of excitement because he understands this is a very fortunate uh, position he's in. And obviously, he's trying to get himself to the Hall of Fame. And this, is a, this is really can be a, a, a really a plus for him and his legacy and what he's been doing in the game since he's been in the game. So this is a big, big thing for himself to be able to come and be an addition to this team and move this offense forward from where they were prior. Pretty crazy the drop off at running back. It's only 29. Yeah. And, I mean, he's bouncing around. That's what <laughs> happens in the league with those legs. All right, let's go back to boxing. Last week in Tampa, the city hosted Jake Paul, mm -hmm. and then the undercard, Frank Gore, Darren Williams. That's, I mean, athletes all over the place. Yeah. Well, maybe not Jake Paul, but yeah. you know. <laughs> all right. So we've seen a few of these guys heading to the ring. Sim, what do you think about this career transition for these guys going from the NFL or the NBA to boxing? <laughs> oh, man. Uh, it's going to be unique, you know? I mean, we, we always talk so much about CTE and what it's done to players and the brains and things like that. Now you're going into the gauntlet. You, you're going into boxing after having so many collisions in the game. I think you got to be very discerning. You have to be smart about it. I mean, it's fun and it's entertainment, but you're putting your, you really, really are putting your health at risk because this is, and, and there's been such contention with the CTE and how the effect it has done on the brain. And it's so hard for players to get their insurance, much like myself. Got, you know, they have a thing in the NFL where they say deny, deny, deny until you die. So now you have to try to show the effects of how football has had on you in your brain and the effect of boxing, what you're going into in the after career after your career of football is over. So I don't think it's very beneficial in that degree, but life isn't like that. Life is about finding out what you're made of and doing what you love. And if this is something that you love and you truly love it, then you want to try your hand at it. But there's a lot of inner workings going on into it. And it's not one linear thing that you could think of, a singular thing that you could think of and say, this is just what it is. I'd sign up for a Lev Bell, Jake Paul fight. Just be fun to see. Yeah. All right, Sim, coming up at one on CBS. We've got the Bills and the Patriots. AFC East is, is one to watch. Bills, Patriots, Dolphins, they're all still alive in this division. I know you watch a lot of Dolphins football. It'll be interesting to see what comes out of this division because I think the Fins have won six straight, and mm -hmm. then you get Mac Jones and the Patriots, and then the Bills, who have been a little bit of a downward surprise. Simeon, what do you think about the division, and who could come out of that AFC East? Man, the AFC is up for grabs. You see what the New England Patriots have been doing. Their defense has been playing on another level. I'm excited to see them. I, I see them as a team that can make it. You see what Indianapolis Colts is doing as well. They, they are also a team that's kind of like coming out of the dark. They're coming out of the dark ages of the Peyton Manning era and into this new era of football where Carson Wentz is kind of getting them to another level. So that's good. Then you got the Buffalo Bills. You know, that Bills Mafia is serious. That team is serious. I don't know anybody that wants to travel there during the playoffs and try to win a game. It's going to be difficult for any team in the AFC. And then you got the Chargers. The Chargers is also a very, very good team and has been kind of like brewing and ready to pop and we're excited to see what's going to happen. So anything can happen with that division in, real, in that conference. Real quick, Sim, I want to get your thoughts on a movie coming out against a guy you played against, Kurt Warner, American Underdog. What do you, what do you think about Kurt Warner getting a movie? I'm thinking, like, why didn't I get the call to direct it? That would have been fun for me to direct. I'm like, whoa. I mean, and I'm hearing it's a very, very good movie. It's great. You know? I mean, so I'm excited to see it. You know, you're going to be able to see his maturation from arena football to the pros. I'm excited to see it. I can't wait to see it. And it's, it's going to have a little bit of all our history in it. So those that played at that time. So we all are familiar with it. The greatest show on turf. That team was amazing. I mean, and it, it led to myself coming to Tampa because what I was able to see when uh, they basically beat the Bucks 
prior to me getting there, I'm, I was like, that's the, if I was at there that year, we would have won that and went to the Super Bowl. So that was one of the motivations as and inspirations as to myself becoming a Buccaneer. Sam, I've got a direct line to the Irwin bros who, who directed the movie. I'll give them a call and tell them, hey, what, what are you doing here? you got to give my, my guy, Simeon, a call next time. American on, Underdog. football movie? How <laughs> yeah, exactly. Not? Starring Zachary Levi and Anna Paquin is in theaters on Christmas, so you can go watch it, obviously, this weekend.